All right, what's up? What's going on? How is everybody doing today? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time you're listening or watching this at. Whether you're watching this on YouTube or you're listening to the podcast, I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, honestly, for supporting the notion, supporting the idea that no matter what somebody is dealing with, they are not alone. No matter what you are dealing with, you are not alone. And no matter what I'm dealing with, I am not alone because together we can uplift each other and get through whatever struggle or adversity that we are going through at the moment. Now, before I jump into what today's you know, episode is going to be about, let me please just introduce myself super, super quick. My name is Mark. And since I was a kid, I really struggle with, you know, my mental health. And that motivated me to create this YouTube channel and podcast to just be open about what kinds of things I've been going through and give my advice and tips, but also have conversations with other people and hear their perspectives on the challenges that they've gone through, the struggles they've been through, and how that's helped shape them into the people that they are today. So I find that really interesting. I hope you do as well. And if you do, please feel free to consider, you know, subscribing or just following the podcast. If you feel like you got some motivation, some knowledge, some new perspectives, or just entertained you for a couple minutes, then feel free to share this stuff with a friend. Share it with somebody who maybe is struggling right now. Share it with somebody who has struggled in the past or someone that just wants to carve their life into a new direction. But before I go off and talk too much of my introduction, let's just jump into what this episode is going to be about today. And that is not giving up. Now, last week we spoke pretty thoroughly about you know, getting started on whatever it is that you've wanted to get started on. And if you haven't seen that episode yet, go back to the last episode. And I'm going to be talking about, you know, getting started on whatever it is you've been thinking about starting. Because I've already talked about it, I'm going to just jump right into not quitting, not giving up right now, because I'm assuming that you guys have started on whatever it is you were thinking about starting. Now, 2020 is a rough year for everybody, whether it's, you know, the stuff that's going on in the news, elections, all the other social issues going on, the pandemic, lockdown, quarantine, you know, going through maybe a change in how you're working, how you're studying. There's a lot of things going on. And not just that, but there's a lot of people that are going through a lot of, you know, mental health struggles, maybe some personal issues that they're dealing with, maybe some financial issues that they're dealing with. Perhaps you're just struggling with maybe some of your relationships, whether that be with your distant friends, maybe it's with your close friends, maybe it's with your family members, maybe it's with, you know, maybe it's with yourself. Maybe you're struggling with work or maybe your workouts. Maybe you're just struggling with your workload. At the end of the day, all I'm trying to get across is no matter what your situation is, no matter how you're feeling right now, I know deep down in my heart that you know deep down in your heart that you've got more gas in the tank. You've got more energy and you can push through whatever it is the struggles that you're dealing with, whatever feels like it's holding you down, because there's no such negative energy in this universe or world that can hold down, you know, people in general. We're such a strong species. We're such a species that is very adaptable and, you know, pushed by our spirit and our heart and whatever our energy is pushing us towards. There's no reason right now to give up. There might feel like there is, but trust me, if you push through whatever struggle you're going through right now, I promise you it will get better. You will see some results, even if you're not right now. And I just want you to keep pushing. You're not alone in this. If you need some support, feel free to reach out because I got your back no matter what. But let's talk about how you can keep motivated and let's talk about how you, you know, can motivate yourself and inspire yourself and not need outside influences to keep pushing because you are your own hero. Now, whenever I'm feeling like I want to give up, whenever I'm feeling like maybe the task I'm working on is a little bit too far-fetched or maybe it's such a big goal that it it, it kind of overwhelms me. What I like to do is I like to set small goals and I talked about this as well with, you know, Zach Murphy, one of the guys that I spoke with recently in one of my interviews and we spoke about, you know, setting small goals all the time to keep you motivated, to keep you pushing. Maybe that's a week by week thing. Maybe it's a day by day thing, but just little small goals. And I'm not talking about, you know, I want to have a million dollars as a goal, I'm talking about, you know, small actions that you can take to get you closer to making money. Maybe that's, you know, improving your communication skills. So you read a book, you watch some YouTube videos, you listen to a podcast. Maybe it's, 
just making one more phone call if you're in sales. Maybe it's just spending a little bit more time fine tuning the small details of what your business is. And I'm not saying business as in you run a business because I'm sure that majority of people don't and that's fine. What I mean by your business is I mean whatever you are working on currently. Now, when you're setting your small goals, obviously they have to be achievable and they have to be actionable. They have to be something that you can start to work on now, but I don't want you to base these things off of crazy expectations that you see on social media. As we all know that the stuff that we see on social media isn't even realistic. The people that are driving the cars and the posts that we see, those aren't their cars. And even if they are, they might be in debt because of them. You have no idea what other people's situations are like. All you can do is look at your situation and then think of how you can make it better one step at a time and continue to do that as frequently as you possibly can. And then furthermore, along the way, if you've got the extra time, if you have the extra energy, if you have the extra funds, if you have the extra resources, try and lift someone else up as well along the way because that's just gonna add to your motivation and it's gonna add to your self-worth, but it's also gonna add to their motivation and their self-worth. And then when they have a little bit more time, energy, money, resources, whatever it is, they can help lift someone else up as well and it'll be a chain reaction that continues to go. As a whole, society has been through so much this year, whether it's you know all the stuff that's going on in the news or all the stuff that's going on in your place. Nobody has, you know, a full picture of what each of us is going through because it has been a rough year. Let's just be honest. And we've seen rates of suicides. We've seen rates of depression climb and skyrocket this year. And I just want to let everybody know that sees this, that you are loved. You are valued. You're needed in this world. We need you to continue to grow and to continue to be your best self because the world needs more good people. And I know that if you're watching this kind of content, it is 100% hands down a fact that you are obviously a good person, but also wanting to become a person that can make other people around you good as well, because that is the point of doing this type of podcast. Just being able to explain that no matter what anybody is dealing with, they are not alone. And if you're part of this family, if you're part of this group, if you're part of this movement, then you are part of the people that will help lift other people up as well. Because this is my honest attempt and trying to do that. At the end of the day, no matter what, everybody has greatness within them. Everybody has power to keep pushing and everybody has power to lift other people up. Everybody's greatness is different and will impact people differently, but everybody does have greatness within them and you do too. That means you watching this or listening to this right now. That's my rant for the day. Don't give up no matter what, whatever you're working on right now, whatever you're trying to do right now, whether it's you're struggling with, you know, your school being online and you're not getting the help that you need from professors. Maybe it's, you know, changes in the workplace. Maybe it's changes in your home dynamic. Maybe it's changes in your relationships. Whatever you're struggling with right now, keep pushing and keep getting closer and closer to the results you're looking for. And we will together and united make this world a better place, a more fun place, a more positive place, a more loving place and a more compassionate place. So I'm gonna end the episode on that note because I just want you to understand that you are not alone and you should not give up on whatever you are working on right now. And if you feel like you need to, feel free to reach out. You can reach out to me or go through that list of interviews and feel free to reach out to any of those people as well because they are down with this. Thank you so much. Have a good day, have a good week, have a good month and have a good year for the rest of 2020. Much love and peace out.